This is what we call an equilateral triangle. And an equilateral triangle, what these little tick marks mean is that every single side is exactly equal to itself. Or equal to each other, not to itself. Um, we also can say that every single angle is also equal to each other. So we represent these little tick marks to show you that they're equal to each other. And on this problem, what it says is given the perimeter, that means the distance all the way around a figure, well, that kind of looks like but that means like this, yeah, this distance plus this distance plus this distance, I add those all up, equals 33. So how are we going to determine what one side length equals if all of them add up to 33? Well, what, I can do, what we can do is we can look at this and say, we need to write an expression. And first of all, you look at, well, what is it we don't know? Well, we don't know the value of one of these sides. So when you don't know the value of something, you know, in algebra, what we do is we give it something. We give it something to represent that value. And the most common representation is a letter. And X is usually our most famous letter for choosing. So we choose X. Well, remember, this is an equilateral triangle. So if that's, if one side's X, then that side's X, and that side's X. And the next thing you need to know for this is what is the definition of perimeter? Well, the definition of perimeter, remember, is you know the, all the sides added up, the addition of all the sides of an object. So the distance around an object. So you take x plus x plus x equals 33. And still right now we have three x's. Now remember in algebra, when we're solving, we're only solving for one x. Well, fortunately, these are like terms. And it's just kind of thing, you know, we always like to say if you have one apple plus another apple plus another apple, that equals three apples. We can do the same thing with our x's. This equals three x equals 33. Now what I can do is I can divide by 3, and I get x equals 11. Therefore, the sides are 11, 11, and 11. And if I wanted to check my work, I'd say 11 plus 11 plus 11. Does that equal 33? And yes, it does. So that's how you find the side length when given the perimeter.